Hi everyone, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR list from July through to September. I'm going to try and restrain myself for this TBR because um, I keep getting really overexcited when I'm about to shoot TBR videos. I'm looking through my bookcase and I'm like, oh my god, I really want to read this and this and this and this and this and I give myself a big long list and then three months later I've read different things and none of the stuff that's actually on my TBR. So I'm going to try and try and restrain myself, try and be a little bit conservative and hopefully if, by the end of September I will have read all of these that are on my list. So firstly there are a couple of books that I know I'm definitely going to be reading in July and that's because I am doing some read-alongs with some other people on booktube and the first one is Saplings by Noel Stretfield which I bought from Persephone Books. A couple of weeks ago I did the International Bookshop Crawl with Jen and Holly and I'll leave a link to the vlog I did of that day below if you haven't seen it yet and also to Jen's video where we do a haul of all the books we bought, one of them being this. I loved um, Noel Stretfield's children's literature like to an insane amount when I was young and I, I just read all of them and this is her book for adults I don't actually know anything about it other than it was suggested um, as part of the read along and I was just like yes oh my god yes I've got to do it and also look at the end papers the Persephone end papers oh if that's not a reason to read it I don't know what it is and the other book that I'm going to be reading as part of the read along is Bonjour Tristesse by Françoise Sagan um, which again I don't know too much about other than I believe it caused a bit of a storm when it was released and the author was only 18 and it had all these sex scenes in it I might have made that up, but it's something that I've wanted to read for a long time. I think when you hear a name of a novel for ages, you're like, oh, like I feel like I know it, but I don't actually know it. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to read as well. And then, so many books that were on my um, April to June TBR, I didn't actually get around to reading. And one of those I particularly want to read soon is uh, Middlesex by Jeffrey, New Jeffrey Eugenides. I've had this on my like to read next sort of pile in my mind for a really long time. I'm just, I sat up and got to it. I think it's because it's big. And in my head that, that feels like a bit of a commitment to carry this around in my handbag to work and back. Um, but that's really silly. So. <laughs> So really looking forward to getting to this soon, hopefully as well, um, a couple of others that I had on my list. I also wanted to start My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante, which is one of her Neapolitan novels, and also The Enchantment of Lily Dahl by Sarah Hisbert, they were on my list last, last time as well. Um, so I don't want to have too many new ones on this TBR, because otherwise I feel like, what's the point of, of a TBR, what's the point of a reading plan if I then just go, literally don't read any of it. So the only other two that I'm going to definitely add to this list is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, which I bought recently, um, I think a couple of weeks ago on my Kindle. I've just been looking forward to reading any Toni Morrison at all um, because everybody has said that each of her books are just so de devastating and wonderful and I think The Bluest Eye is one of her more famous ones and yes, yeah, excited to start with that one. And then the other one is a book I bought a long while ago and it is Almost Famous Women by Megan Mayhew Bergman and I hauled this as part of I think a beautiful books haul or something because I loved the idea of it. It's a book of short stories about real women in history who almost made it to the big time and their stories have kind of been lost and these are obviously fictionalised and kind of imagined versions of their lives but it sounded really interesting um it's a really beautiful cover and I've just bought it and gone yay I have it now and then not read it which I always do I'm always like yes I have it so that means I've read it like in the back of my head rather than actually reading it and I just really want to take the time to read this because I think it's going to be really interesting so that is my quite constrained TBR for three months that's not that many books but I know that there's gonna be others I want to read I don't like being too penned in like these are the books I have to read this week and this book I have to read this week because I have a couple of read-alongs um coming up um and then books I'm going to be reading for the page to screen project as well so I like to have a little bit of fluidity so sometimes when you're scrolling through your kindle or you're looking through your bookcase and you just think oh I just want to read that I want to read that one right now so I'd love to know if you've read any of these and if you have any recommendations of which ones you think I should pick up first um let me know what you're planning to read soon and I will see you in my next video bye so much of what's happening in these two isn't that relevant to where we are as a movement now but it was interesting as a look back across history for me and I'm really pleased that I got these because I probably wouldn't have picked up the full text of these. This has kind of enabled me to dip my toes into them.